Hey guys, and welcome back to another video after, I don't know, 5-6 months. It was a long time. I was busy, you know the deal. <laughs> but today, we are gonna take a look on a how to get modus from newest updates from CSR2. Since they are not included in OBB, but in a Unity cache. And instead of just writing it down, and it might be kind of confusing, go for it like a video. So, for things that you will need to get these models. First thing first, you will need a Android emulator on your PC. It probably doesn't really matter which one, as long as the emulator has shared folder or you can or, or a folder that you can use to transfer data from android files to your pc because we all need to work with them and ld player the thing that the emulator that i'm using right now have this feature i don't know about bluestacks or nox or any other other emulators but i'm gonna show it using ld player and Use whatever you want to, as long as it has this feature. And you will need a trusted thing, a set studio, which you can get from GitHub or link in description. Same for the LD player download. So, go to GitHub, releases, and download the latest version. Just click on this link, and it will download here. Extract the zip package and you don't need to do anything with it just extract it and leave it probably on your desktop or somewhere then you want to go and download your emulator go through the download go through the install get everything ready then go to your play store go to csr2 and download the game actually then after download it just search files and you will need this files bar mark apps and software this will allow uh, allow allow us to go as deep as the in the android data and stuff and this is pretty trusted and i know how to work with it so down this one is like 500 kilobytes so it won't kill your internet or anything so after installing these two get these two apps you will need to fire up CSR2, go through the tutorial, and then be in a garage, just scroll through the garage for a couple minutes for as long as you will see, uh, as, you will, as you won't see the update button. You will need to wait for the update button to pop up. I don't know, it worked in the late, in, worked in the version that I used, but today I downloaded an update, I don't know, but it should be like that, if doesn't, if nothing pops up after like 2-3 to three minutes, then I guess it was already updated, I don't really know, but yeah, after you install the update and stuff, now you don't uh, close the CSR2 and go to your files pop up files and go to your main directory go android go data go com dot natural motion dot custom through tracer 2 go to files and go to unity cache and there shared and we have so many files and folders and those are all of these those are cars from the latest updates and stuff that are not included in the obb which we used in the previous which we used previously and there is <laughs> there's a lot of cars so i just need to choose one and for example this audi s1 e -tron. so I'm gonna select all these. Um, I'm gonna select all these. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Then go to 
copy to and I'm gonna copy it to downloads and copy here then I'll go to my downloads and create a new folder called Audi S1e for example and again move all the files to the folder this is not necessary but it'll be easier for you to transfer it it's because you have everything into one file and you need to transfer like 12 different files this this is just for you to make everything easier so right now we have this folder in our downloads so if here is an LD player click on this little shared folder button click and click on Android shared folder with these two dots and it will open up this I'm gonna use me I'm gonna use the mask I've already got some stuff through that but I'm gonna use the mask and click on PC shared folder and it will pop up the um, file thing I don't know the name <laughs> but it will go to C users username documents swan z9 and then you will see pictures like here miss and applications so right now close this and go uh, in this vanilla file manager or the file manager that the LD player comes along with free, uh, free dots here go to download pick this folder um, go to downloads take this folder three dots again go to shared miss three dots on top copy selection here and it will copy the fa folder from downloads to your mask to the shared folder and now you will go to the your windows file manager go to mask and you will see these files this oh it contains stuff like this but a set studio can open those so right now you can close the LD player open a set studio To file load folder go to your documents uh, swan z9 mask audi and select folder and it will load the sets go to filter type select mesh and texture 2d now what i want to do is go back to the mess and create a new folder or the s1e export for example go back to the asset studio export filtered assets and find a folder export select the folder and it will start exporting the meshes and the textures and it will pop up one down so we have all these 3d files and all these textures and now only what we need to do is just work with these files so I'm gonna open blender and you can just import those files import the 3d in the blender or in whatever 3d editing program you use and just just to work with it it's easy as that i'm gonna do file import i have the plugin to import more uh, obj files at once documents swansea this audi export mesh i'm gonna select all of these import multiple obgs now it will import all the obgs I'm, I'm gonna delete the shadows and stuff 
and I have the model here. It's easy as that. So, I hope this tutorial helped. If yes, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, all the nonsense, you know it. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.